Okay guys, today we do porch lamps. As you can tell this one's filthy and it's almost impossible to clean. It's been on here for quite some time. So I've got a new lamp for mom, so we'll go ahead and get it put on here. Got me a new Klein. It's uh, actually a racket. Pretty nice. I didn't use the ratchet portion of it. Oh yeah. Okay guys, this turned into a complete cluster. I know I don't cuss on here, but that's exactly what turned into me. Welcome back guys. Uh, sorry about the little rant. Uh, it's just that something so simple went to heck in a hand basket so fast it'd make your head spin. Um, basically, I, you know, it's just going to be uh, three little wire nuts, a couple of screws, and wham, bam, we've got mom a new light up here. But not, nah, just don't work like that in my world. I'm sure there's a lot of y'all too that actually, you know, thought they got into something easy and it just turned, turned, turned sour. But uh, anyway, guys, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get my little brother Jeff and, and my sister-in-law Tammy out here, and they're actually going to. Uh, I guess we're going to pull these soldier bricks out. And uh, he'll he'll re uh, butter them up and, and reinstall them, but that's going to entitle. He's going to have to knock out all these old joints. But it don't look like that's going to be very difficult whatsoever. And what he can't get off, he'll take his grinder to it and dress it up. But he's going to have to be very careful because this is the only bricks we have. And uh, but anyway, before he can actually get started with that, I'm going to actually have to get me something to mount my my new box to. Okay, you know the ears broke off. It was a nightmare. But anyway. I've got to have something to mount my new box to, and basically everything behind it, when I remove that box, just freaking disintegrated. So basically, we may get a little lucky here. I'm not going to say lucky, lucky, but a little lucky. But you see right here, we have uh, this is the old vapor barrier they used to install. Uh, this black paper, black black paper barrier. We used to install a thing called Celotex when I was when I was framing houses back in the day. But uh, anyway, it looks like we have a stud running like right through here. Um, I don't want to willy-nilly go drilling over here because, you know, I could possibly have wires I can't see behind the wall there. So, uh, basically what I'll do is I'll get a block, I'll cut a block, and we'll affix it to, to, the, to the studs here. And I may build out another block so we can actually have keep our box as flush as we can, and we'll be able to attach that block easily. Okay, guys, uh, I reckon that's it for now. Let me get, get around back, and I've got my chop saw out, and we'll get to cutting. All right, guys, I tell you what, guys, I may just go ahead and start beating out some of this brick, uh, you know, so I can actually get back in there with my hands and get that box in there and all that good stuff, so. Now, if my little brother has trouble with this, he's got a great friend that, uh, that's, a, that's a mason, so we may have to get him out here. Not positive. I'm sure he'll do his darndest. But I like how they just took crap brick and laid them in there. Look at that.
Ain't that something? Let's change the light fixture. Hopefully that'll stay intact there. All right, guys. Well, at least I got, uh, you know, I can see where my nailers are. All right, let me All get right, after guys. this. We'll take a piece of this tree that I got here. See what we can do. same size as uh, the box itself and we've got a stud running right here so basically what I'll do is I'll line this dude up like so Go ahead. And I'll make me a couple of pilot holes somewhere in that general general area go eight prep it'll split that wood and then we'll be in the world hurt again all right let's uh i cut two blocks just in case i want to see where that box is going to be sitting you know i might have to put like a wumba in there or something i'm not positive So we're gonna be yay short, but I can fix that too. All right, guys. What fence pickets are for? Okay, guys, we got our two before in there pretty good. It's not gonna actually butt directly up to my box, but it'll get us a lot closer than that two before there. Just maybe a sixteenth out or so. So we'll definitely want to pilot hold this. I was able to get back in here and grab some of my wire. Um, it was encased in concrete, of course. And I found that I had a nick here. Of course I did. But uh, that's all right. Like I said, we can adapt and we can freaking overcome. All right, guys, we got a great man in box here. Now I'm hoping I didn't cut my blocks just a hair too high. But if I did, I've got that multi-master and I'll just run that son of a gun right across that like it ain't nothing. All right, guys. Let's see if I can clean this up for him just a little bit. field to come into but he'll work his magic but look at that guys come on now really but uh, my block back here is just a hair a hair over where it should be now I'm sure he could probably make it work tell me not to worry about it but I don't want him I know it's gonna be tedious enough for what he's getting ready to come do so basically what I've done guys is uh, I broke out uh, the German Ingenuity, and I'm just going to trim that right off, guys. And I don't know if any of y'all have one of these fine tools. Now, there's actually under different names, but I am a fine multi-master man. Okay, this is my go-to tool.
right guys, that should do it. Get him a level playing field there. Gotta love the fine guys. One of the best tools on the market today. German Ingenuity endorsed by Fritz. Okay guys, I believe I've done all I can do until a little brother and Tammy get out here, but we've got our box mounted really super tight here. Um, we were able to free up that wire behind it where they encrusted it in, uh, in uh, mortar. Um, and I actually discovered a nick in it, so luckily we were able to get that mortar loose and pull more wire out. And uh, But anyway guys, basically this is uh, the reason why we were doing this is because mom wanted a, a, a nice new lamp, a new fixture that uh, she could actually clean. And uh, the other one, the top popped up, she was, wasn't able to reach it, gets full of spiders, yada, yada, yada. With this one, you just, uh, the bulb will pop off and you can actually take it <clears throat> in the house and clean it. Um, with this particular fixture here, the, uh, the, the bolt pattern here is not gonna line up with the ears. So what I actually had to do, guys, was go out and get one of these adapter pieces for, for uh, lamps. And what it does, uh, it comes with these bolts. I actually took my side cutters and cut them off. A lot of people will utilize their, uh, their wire strippers and, and utilize these pieces here, the 8 30 seconds, 10 30 seconds, yada, 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 and cut their screws off. But I, I find lineman's is a lot easier and uh, it's, it's just, I, that's just the way I've been doing it. I'm sure other people prefer different methods. But what you do with these things, guys, is you uh, you, line, you find your bolt pattern here, and I uh, figured out this is me my bolt, bolt pattern here. And basically, what you're going to do is you'll take it, and you, you know you put it on the back here. Hopefully, it'll work for me. Probably not. Okay. And basically, it'll, it'll be like this. And what it does, it, it came with these little decorative ball pieces. And what you'll do is you'll uh, you'll actually take this piece here and mount it to your ears. And to level it up, you'll actually take and let once the uh, the lamp itself starts adhering to the wall, you'll take these nuts here, and that's what's going to hold it to the uh, hold it level to the wall or hold it tight up against the wall. But uh, heck, let me, uh, I want to go ahead and try it out real quick and see how everything's going to work. So just bear with me and let okay, me get guys, this set up. Okay guys, we've got our little adapter ready to go. Um, basically it's just going to be like a little trial run. We've cut off our little uh, screws for our ears here. So let's go ahead and grab them. And hopefully I can see what I'm doing here. Make a little trial run here. Grab our other one. Hopefully I can get this puppy on there too. All right, guys, and we'll just spin that puppy around like so. Let's grab our piece here. Uh, might be kind of fun putting this dude on there. Okay, we got that on there. Well, get on there, girl. I might have to grab my glasses, I really can't see. All right, there we go. All right, guys, so what we'll basically do is we'll take a level, I'll stick it right here, and we'll level this dude up, and then we've got these, uh, like I said, these uh, little uh, decorative dudes here, try not to strip it. All right, we got that one on.
and we've got that one on. And so you can actually adjust it. So once we take these and we tighten them, like so, that's what's gonna draw it up to the brick. And that way we can uh, level it out real good. So I think that's pretty neat, guys.